You are watching Phone Arena's video review of the Nokia E63. The phone is a whitened version of the business model E71. When compared to it, the E63 is a few millimeters thicker with a 2 megapixel camera and lacks a GPS, but the rest of its functionality has been kept and it also uses the Symbian operating system with the S60 interface. The metal body of the E71 has been exchanged for a plastic one but still the new model has been quality made and doesn't feel cheap at all. The rubber coated keys feel nicely when touched although being pretty small. Our only remark however stays the same. The bottom row of keys isn't shifted to the right so you will have to get used to this. The 2.4 inch display with 16 million colors looks good not only indoors but outdoors too. Well, the colors could really become undistinguishable but the image stays clear enough and allows for reading messages. It's interesting that a volume rocker and a separate power key are missing and on the top you'll notice yet another sign indicating that the E63 is targeted at the general customer. It has a 3.5mm headphone jack. It's a bit funny that the protective cap isn't attached to the body and you'll have to wonder where to put it once it is removed. We won't get into great details concerning the software. This aspect, the E63 is totally identical to its big brother. Not only that it reacts fast enough, but it also offers the complete functionality of a business model. The Facebook application should be downloaded additionally and is actually nothing more than a shortcut to the mobile version of the site loaded into the browser. The browser on the other hand is as perfect as always and experiences no problems even when viewing complex pages. When it comes to multimedia, the E63 doesn't surprise us in any way. It features a good music player and a mediocre sound through the headphones from the package. As we said however, thanks to the 3.5mm jack you can plug in a better pair and enjoy your favorite music. If you don't find the 2.4 inch display too small, you can also play some good looking videos if you convert them to an MPEG format with H.264 codec. What's going to determine whether the E63 is worth it is its price. The device is very similar to the E71 and in case it's cheaper it would be a good purchase for those of you that need a phone that's easy to write with. It has a rich functionality, a good sound for a phone, a reliable battery and this is all packed in a pocket sized device. The E71 however offers the same features plus a GPS. A good alternative is the Motorola Q9H, which has a better keyboard and Windows Mobile instead of Symbian. Thanks for watching our video review. Please visit phonearena.com for our full text review with many pictures and 360 degrees view.